<laughs> a play called Pity from Born in Blood, Volume 2. They'll find nothing. I am nothing. Empty. I do it for the same reason a wheel turns or water flows, because I cannot do or be anything else. There. Insufficient confession, perhaps, for the myths that history re requires of itself, but the only truth you're likely to find. I know every slice, every cut. Feel it. Not just the physical factors of wetness, resistance, the give of meat beneath metal. Pain. An intensity that kindles cries in my throat, an ache to hurl the blade from my hand, to pluck up the bleeding things it kisses and carry them away, to some sanctuary where I can help them heal, soothe their suffering. I feel it all. This boy, for example, eager to be chosen, courting eyes with his primped and painted prettiness, feeling them on himself like fingers, loving it. How long has he known that power? How long has he practised it? Akin to me in that, being as he was born to. Cruel flirtations, the snaring of eyes, faint promise of smiles, akin to my knives. The tears he coaxes, like the blood I draw. The suffering that follows more profound, the wounds deeper, less apt to heal. He loves the feeling of metal, of blades when they barely kiss, believing it to be some game at first, until they bite, slipping beneath skin. I don't touch him apart from that, don't need to, other than to tie him down. I share the cold invasion, welling black knowledge of what is being done to him, what he has invited. I weep, want to comfort him, to lie, to tell him it will all be over soon. I can't, not even when he begins to sob, slurring through snot and blood. No, please, I didn't, I won't, poor boy. He doesn't understand, thinks that this is some form of punishment. I'm not God, I don't cause pain in the name of morality. Beyond that, a pilgrim of purer realms. No more words. I weep for him, want his pain to end, but it won't. How they hold on. None die clean, none die fast. It would be a waste if they did. I'm not what they need me to be. The stories, the myths. Not some sociopath or inhuman article. Not some deranged moralist or demented prophet. I don't do what I do for gods or for vengeance or for the, th or for the thrill of it. Still alive, pleading with his eyes, those pretty, pretty eyes that first snared me, that he hates now, silently begging me to put out. No, no, I won't. Too pretty, especially now, so bright, so full of jealous life. I want to see them, to drink their last light as they flicker out. Every moment, every revelation that comes with this, the flick and cut, the cold and violation, more vital in these moments than in all his previous years. Happy to give him that, at least, to share it with him, as he shares himself. We love in that instant, beyond any wife and husband, beyond parent and child, our oaths more enduring, more earnest, though it won't be long now, not long before even that fades. The knife leaves him at last, leaves me likewise, clattering from my fingers across the stone. Still, cooling, my blood a tsunami behind my eyes, finally abating. The thing that's left, the meat, the empty sack, it has its uses, but the boy himself, gone, in me now, like the rest, loving me for what I showed him, what he struggled against, the beauty he'd been blind to all his life. Maybe, maybe we'll know it together some day, when the knife calls another, and I lay down on the slab. But not today. Today there is hunger. Today the knives sing as I weep, as I wield them. Today beauty dies, and the world is remade.
Ha, 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 ha.